It's John Pollock and Wei Ting, and this is the most self-explanatory video you're ever going to click on. It is raw in three minutes, and we kick off with a look at Monday's show from the O2 Arena in London, England, which kicked off with the Ambrose Asylum. Oh, boy. Dean Ambrose, the stand-up himself in front of a London crowd who was probably going to get hostile if this went any longer. He was interrupted as he brought out Shane McMahon. And then from there, after Shane proclaimed a new era of WWE programming, we got a 16-minute opening segment involving lots of microphones, lots of talking. Kevin Owens talked, then Sami Zayn talked, then Chris Jericho talked, and then they fought, and then some matches were made. Yeah, a very by-the-numbers segment, um, you know, but it was fun to see the UK audience's reaction to each guy's uh, entrance. Chris Jericho defeated Sami Zayn. Uh, they got two segments here. It ended with an eye poke to Sami Zayn. And then the code breaker is Chris Jericho wins. Sami Zayn loses again. But he will face Kevin Owens at payback. And Jericho will face Dean Ambrose. Kind of a slow and standard match. And I think this was when you started to realize that this crowd wasn't necessarily the typical loud UK crowd that you got at most show, uh, UK shows. The tag tournament continued. We got Big Cass and Enzo defeating the Dudley Boys and the Vaudevillains defeating the Usos. Both clean. I thought both were, were done well. And the finals set to take place on the pay-per-view at Payback and then faced a new day later that night. I was disappointed that the Dudleys and uh, Enzo and Cass feud was already kind of blown off here, but I was happy that these two uh, new guys made it to the finals. Roman Reigns came out. He was confronted by AJ Styles. They had a back and forth. Roman Reigns very much playing the subtle heel, maybe even not so subtle at times. Yeah. They were doing the mutual respect, and then as AJ was leaving, Gallows and Anderson, who had reunited with AJ earlier in the night, attacked Roman, and then afterwards, AJ went to apologize to Roman, saying he had nothing to do with it. Roman won't buy AJ's story, and I think it leads to some intrigue for this main event if Reigns is secretly working with Gallows and Anderson and set them on the Usos the week prior. Yeah, I was very happy with this. It p puts uh, Gallows and Anderson in the main event picture, and it gives the audience exactly what they're looking for. Baron Corbin killed Fandango. Miz TV featured Cesaro coming out. That broke into an eight-man tag with the Miz, Rusev, Alberto Del Rio, and Sheamus losing to Cesaro and the New Day. And then we had another eight-person tag. This time it was the women involved, and this was largely to set up Natalia and Charlotte for payback, with Natalia tapping out Charlotte, and she will have Bret Hart in her corner at payback. Mm -hmm. I thought they booked the Natalia very well here. And then Apollo Crews, he defeated Heath Slater, I would say in quick fashion, but it was a rather lengthy 429 match. And then in the main event, it was Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens. Uh, they got a lengthy main event spot here. And again, another clean finish here. Dirt, uh, dirty Deeds by Dean Ambrose to beat Kevin Owens. And then he was laid out by Chris Jericho with the code breaker after to end the show that, that you said way by the numbers. By the numbers, kind of boring, but you know, you can't complain about the booking. Tonight's Raw was brought to you by the word safe.